Now, Derek has been giving us an insight into past lives at an old black and white Tudor house in Bolton. Take a look at this. I'm drawn here, into this aperture, into this room, this doorway. And as I come down the stairs, the energy that's pulling me. So he tells me he was a very energetic man um, in his time, uh, when he was here physically. And I'm drawn into this space here. As I come through this, all oh, the thoughts in my mind seem to be racing, racing at speed much faster than the average, average rant of uh, uh, my mind. And it seems as if, just for this moment in this atmosphere, even the residual energy of thought of what went on, plans, planning, or what, it's a creation seems to be in this area. Um, and I don't feel it's changed. I feel, because I saw earlier, um, and I pick up a, a gentleman with his back to me sitting, um, and he seems to be sketching and drawing and putting, um, it's like not a map, but and it's also like a plan. Um, and it seems to, these plans that he so intricately drawn, um, he put them into action and built these things, and all in connection uh, with this. I'm also getting, um, this man here is Thomas. This man is definitely Thomas. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Thank you, Sam. That's not Thomas talking, that is my guy. So his name is Thomas. I'm also, yes, say it, say it again, is a connection. I want, to, I want to also go, for some reason, there's a connection, a strong connection with Bolton. Bolton, and say it again, please. Tongue, tongue. Talk about tongue, talk about tongue, talk about tongue, talk about Tonj Hall, talk about Tonj Hall, they keep on saying. He also mentioned the name Tong. Now, this area is the area of Tong, but I certainly didn't know that name at all. So perhaps there's something else that we need to do some research on. And that's all for this part of Predictions, but we'll see more of Derek's investigations after the break. And we take some more questions from our audience. We'll see you then. <laughs> Welcome back to you. Derek continues to reveal information about the past lives at the Hall through his contact with the spirits. As I'm coming down these, this beautiful stairwell, I'm drawn into this aperture here, this doorway, um, into this lovely room. Yes. As, oh, right, okay. I'm aware now, uh, gratefully aware, of um, another uh, lady's presence. Um, not residual energy. Again, visitation, but not staying in this dwelling for any level of time. Pain visitation when she is wished. And you, thank you, Sam. Is that how I pronounce this? Okay, I want to say these words in the way my guide has told me to say, as per name. And I guess, Missy, Missy. And then he closed it down, he said, Miss. And I said, Miss what? Miss what? And he said, Miss Missy Mottram. Miss Mottram, Miss Mottram. Missy Mottram. And I said, okay, I'm also aware of a lady, please, who um, also uh, seems to come in this atmosphere. She's not here, but Sam says she comes into this atmosphere. Um, I'm aware of a lot of um, uh, residual thought of energy of males and females, even in this atmosphere, this room, but who are not necessarily here on this given occasion. However, Elizabeth, I've got to say Elizabeth comes here. Um, whether she comes into this atmosphere, into this room, with Missy or Miss uh, Mottram, um, I feel she may accompany her. Um, I'm also aware of um, 
activities. Again, this is what I would um, term the residual energy of experience of what souls did here. Um, it seems that, that as it is furnished here now at this moment, I get a change. Well, how far back this is going, I, it could be, I don't know, 15th, 16th century, whatever. But I, I just feel as if I've got the change of atmosphere and the, and the people who um, were here a moment ago, now suddenly I go back to another era. Um, even the flooring has changed for some reason. Um, and I'm just caught in that uh, vortex of time, if you like, in mind. And I, I feel as if I, I've got a lot of... Um, oh, it, it seems as if I've got people who are sitting round who are um, dressed... And the only way I can describe it, it it's like... Uh, if I use these words, the swords and the... Uh, this was the fragrance of the leathers I was smelling earlier. Um, it's like people who were swordsmen... Uh, um, if you want to call it, not so much the laughing cavalier, but cavalier uh, type of way, sitting, eating, and eating rather um, not in the manner or the way we would do uh, presently in this life, um, but eating with their hands, actually. When you mentioned um, a man um, in leather and with a sword on the front staircase, which I assumed was a cavalier, but again, I didn't know the name. Okay, would you like to appear on Predictions with the great Derek Cora and be part of the audience? If so, all you have to do is write to us here, including your address and telephone number to Predictions, Granada Breeze, Key Street, Manchester, M60, 9EA. Once again, that's Predictions, Granada Breeze, Key Street, Manchester, M60, 9EA. Or you can email us on predictions at gbreeze.co.uk. That's predictions at gbreeze.co.uk.